Today, a pretty awesome discovery has been announced by the team behind Pale Red Dot. They found a potentially habitable Earth-like exoplanet orbiting around the nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, only 4.24 light years away. Now you might remember Pale Red Dot back from my video in March about the hunt for exoplanets around red dwarf stars, worlds which may be very similar to Superman's home planet of Krypton. I urge you to watch the full video for all the details, but TLDW, Pale Red Dot was a campaign taking radial velocity measurements of Proxima Centauri each night for around three months at the beginning of 2016. They were looking for wobbles in that star's motion to indicate the presence of a planet. A planet that might have been hinted at before, but we weren't able to properly pin down because of the star's variability. Here you can see the actual measurements they took and our best fit to the data. What's great is that you can clearly see oscillations in the star's relative velocity to us, the telltale sign of a planet, now dubbed Proxima b. So what's this planet like? Well, from our fit to the data, we can work out a lot of the properties of Proxima b. Firstly, its year, the amount of time it takes to do a full orbit around its star, is incredibly short, just 11.2 days. That means the planet is incredibly close to the star, just 5% of the distance between the Sun and the Earth, or about a tenth of that to Mercury. But red dwarf stars are a lot smaller and cooler than main sequence G-type stars like our Sun. In fact, Proxima b would only be receiving 65% of the stellar radiation that we get here on Earth, placing it firmly within the habitable zone the region where we think liquid water might be able to form on the surface. Now, there are some caveats to that. If Proxima b has no atmosphere, it would be a rather chilly minus 39 degrees C. But the same calculation applied to the Earth puts us at only a few degrees warmer. In our case, it's the presence of greenhouse gases, which makes it suitably warm for liquid water and therefore life as we know it, to form. The same could be true of Proxima b. It's just we don't know yet. What about the size of the planet? The radial velocity method can give a direct estimate of mass, but because of potential orientational effects, it's just a lower bound, known as the minimum mass. For Proxima b, this is 1.3 times that of the Earth. Now, unlike the transit method, we can't measure the physical size of the planet. But using the minimum mass and assuming it has a similar density to Earth, then it'd only be 10% bigger, with 10% stronger gravity on the surface. And from that surface, the red dwarf star would appear three times bigger in the sky than our sun from Earth. This could make for a pretty stunning view if we ever get there. With current technology and some clever slingshot maneuvers, it would take at least 15,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri. On the other hand, the ambitious Starshot project aims to send tiny robots propelled by powerful Earth-based lasers, taking only 20 years. This really is just the first step into finding out what the closest exoplanet to us is really like, and only by looking more closely with different scientific instruments and upcoming ones as well, can we start to answer all of these questions that are just beginning to crop up, including the big one. Is there anyone out there? It's an exciting time to venture into the unknown. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a like. You can also share it around the internet so that other people can find it. Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, whatever. <laughs> you know better than me. Um, and if you do want more stuff from me uh, and you haven't already, don't forget that you can subscribe as well. Thank you very much.